Hello, my wonderful friends. Welcome to my video. I'm so happy to have you here. As always, today we're going to go over some recent Pokemon pickups. I got some really cool vintage toys, some cards, but uh, I want to start this video off with this incredible, massive Cubone that I have had a lot of fun with recently. This is a hefty chunk right here. He is an incredible, like, I, I'm kind of curious if he's like a life-size model. Um, but yeah, the little bone moves. <laughs> yeah, he's just really, really well made. I think this was about $200 from Retro Junk. I think you can order them for about $150 off of Alibaba. Um, but yeah, just, just an incredible pickup. I am beyond in love with him and his little chunk legs. Just such a nice piece to add to the collection. And I also definitely want to apologize because I haven't been able to film very much because I have just been so busy with work, trying to save some money. It's just been crazy. I'm working twice as hard for half the money. It's tough. I haven't been able to buy as much as I normally would, but that's okay because sometimes life gets in the way. We're adults, unfortunately. I hate that part about life. I just want to be a Toys R Us kid. Anyways, moving on. We're going to flip this camera around and I'm going to show you some of the cool vintage stuff that I got in detail. Okay, so we got some really cool things to show you here today. First off, check out this Pokemon wallet that I got from Box Lunch. Uh, it's a lounge fly wallet. I paid like $20 for it. It was on sale. There were some coupons. It is really well made. You have that cute little Squirtle and Piplup. I haven't used it yet, of course, as you can tell. Um, but yeah, look at how amazing that inside is that gradient of blue the pokeballs a nice little id pocket and then the psyduck and the lounge light nice material like a, it's um like a nice canvas there super super nice pickup for like 20 bucks can't beat that then we get some stuff from retro junk um i lost it when i saw this let's go over the back let's look at the front i should start with the front um so apparently it has a, an electronic voice and rocking motion. I hope there's not batteries sitting in it because that would be unfortunate. It's probably been open. I, I don't know. I don't really want to mess with the box. <laughs> but, uh, turn switch on, make a sound, figure will respond. This is 8, 1999. Little oh, come on. I kind of want to, oh. So cool. Look at the little uh, speaker holes on the top. Oh, this might have to be its own, like, unboxing thing. And then we also have Psyduck, because, you know, Psyduck's one of my favorite Pokemon. Just like Togepi, um, Electronic Voice, and Twist. I'm not sure where the speaker parts are. You kind of see where at the base how it looks like it's going to twist there. So these are $25 each at Retro Drug. This looks like it has a Walmart sticker under that. So I kind of want to like peel it off. So same thing with the instructions there. 1999 Charmander, Squirrel, and Pikachu. We got Chunky Chew. Yeah, this one is definitely, doesn't even have the tape on it. Come on. <gasps> I can't get him out. Okay, not too tough to get him out. But I love that he's in the original packaging. Come on out. Oh yeah. Definitely used, but so you should do a little twist. Oh my god. Hey, buddy. <laughs> There's batteries in there. They're definitely dead, but he is awesome. I have to put him back in the box. Uh, I might unbox two of I don't know. So then, of course, my first Pokemon toy ever was the pencils with the uh, Blastoise and the Pikachu, they they were like little eraser toppers. That was the first thing I ever got of Pokemon toys at Toys R Us. This Chinky Chew is a perfect being. Just literally perfect. Look at him. Amazing. Golduck. Look at that. Very nice classical Golduck figure. Oh, I love him. I, I've always been collecting, like, the the 90s Pokemon toys. we got a Mewtwo. I swear I had the Mewtwo and the Mew with the Master Ball. 
that came in that set. But yeah, this was a, uh, I'm pretty sure this is what came in that. Then we have a Primeape. Tell me that doesn't give you classical Pokemon memories right there. Look at him. Oh, look at him. <laughs> we got a uh, Raichu, and this is like the OG Raichu. It looks like Lieutenant Surge's Raichu right there. Um, the tail, though, I don't know if that tail should be there. Probably like that. Yeah. Somehow it wound up like that. But yeah, he is a little chunk chunk. Look at that face. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, he he looks like the OG version. Sand Shrew was one of my favorites back in the day, too. And this is a just a sturdy little toy. Just that face is so good. His little chunk legs. Mm. Got a pack of uh, temporal forces. Oh, the big one. Here's the big one. I didn't even see him in the plastic bag. For now, so uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but clear Gengar is pretty valuable. I grabbed him up for 20 bucks. I've seen these go for like 50 on eBay, I haven't looked in a while. I was kind of like, that's too much to spend on a Pokemon toy, but yeah, I have the clear Gengar. I had so many Gengars as a kid, but like, I remember this being like one of the best because he's a ghost, he's clear. Love what they did here, but he is so hard to find and buy. And if you see one at a good price, grab him up. He's a classic. The light shines like right through him. Super cool. Yeah. Whatever they made him out of, it's awesome. <laughs> we might as well open this pack of Temporal Forces. I haven't opened a pack of this set yet at all. I got a few other things to show you guys over there too. Oh, there's no co Oh, it smells amazing. Oh, fresh Pokemon. We got a Ghastly. I don't know what that Pokemon is, but it's adorable and I love it. Dunsparce. Great art for Dunsparce. Underrated Pokemon. Rabska. Yeah, I don't like that thing. Whatever that is, I don't like it. Uh, Fortress. Very nice art. Full Metal Lab. Mudbray Reverse. He's cute. Mighty Eno. I don't think I've opened this set. I could be wrong. Ooh, we got an EX right there. Look at that hollow pattern. Look at that. We even got a pull gouging fire EX. I definitely don't have that card. That is a stunning card right there. Wow. Wow. I love that hollow pattern. Get out. Then we got a fire energy and a code card if anybody wants it. That is a fantastic pool. Fantastic. Um, oh, it looks like I have... I don't know if I showed you guys this or not. Legendary, non hollow Charizard. As you guys know, Legendary set now worth a lot. Wasn't worth anything originally. Super cool pickup there. That was 30 bucks. I think I got that from Brandon. I got a pack of Paradox Rift. I think I had a thing for like a free pack of cards somewhere. I grabbed this. Might as well open this up too. While we're here. Wasn't meant to be like a pack opening video. Oh, and then I got these other cards I can show you guys. Oh my goodness. So let's see if we can get another pool. Oh, that's cute. Oh, Mac B is so cute there. Flamigo. That's a Pokemon I can get behind. Porygon. Oh, my God. I love, love, love Porygon. Great art for Porygon. Rourke. If that's how you say it. <laughs> Minier. Oh, that one's cute. And that one is cute. We got a Simipore. More Peko Reverse in a Hungry Hurry. That sounds like me all the time. Low Kicks. That one's cool. Never seen that one before. <gasps> what do we got? Oh, Iron Hands EX. Did we really just get another pull? I don't know even the pull rates of these packs because these are like my first two packs of each set. Iron Hands EX. That is a gorgeous foil. <gasps> Look. 
look at the stars. That's amazing. Okay, we're on a roll. We got a basic psychic energy, and there's a code card for you guys. Phenomenal. So Brandon gave me these foils, right? Oh, we got a we got a Team Rocket uh magneton there. Look at that swirl. I think I bought it because the swirl. It's got a Pokeball and a swirl. Pretty good shape there. Not perfect, but pretty good. It's got a lot of foil space, so you know it's something I appreciate. I love the cards that had a lot of foil space like that. Um, so Brandon gave me some of these, I don't know how well you're going to see without me taking the sleeves off, some of these basic energies that have killer swirls. Like he, he knows I collect swirl cards. Yeah, these, I think they come in the, um, the 151 packs too. This, look at that swirl. Yeah, so these are some of the best foil holders I've seen. Let me not spill my pack. My packs of cards there. Swirl. Absolutely sick. One of these had like four swirls on them. I don't remember which one it was. It might have been this one. Anyways, amazing for Brandon to give me that. And I did get um, one of the very cool, I think I've showed this off on Instagram, but like one of the e-reader Charizards. Love that. But I think, I think that's all I got to show you guys. And I have like some other packs here, but... I'm gonna hold off on opening them for now. Silver Tempest. And we got another pack of Paradox Rift. I love that Pikachu coin, by the way. But yeah, we might as well stop it there for now. And uh, hopefully we can do this again very soon. I wanna thank you all so much for watching today's video. Leave a thumbs up on your way out and let me know what your favorite thing was down in the comments. I can't wait to be recovered from my surgery and go vintage Pokemon hunting again. I miss it so much. I have been slacking <laughs> to say the least, uh, but I hope you're all doing great. And I'm gonna say bye for now and take care of my wonderful friends. And hopefully I'll see y'all very soon.